Welcome to Meet Our Researcher Series. I am Sham, Consumer Engagement Coordinator and Stata. Today we got Levan Greenham with us. Welcome Levan, how are you today? I'm great, thank you Sham, thank you for having me. So tell us what your role at Anstata is. So I am the Clinical Research Coordinator at Anstata. This means that I work on clinical trials and I'm currently working on the Symptom Monitoring with Feedback trial, also known as SWIFT. This is a trial that's run in collaboration with the ANSTATA Registry and the University of Sydney. Our principal investigator on the trial is Professor Rachel Morton from the University of Sydney. Okay. What is a clinical trial, Lama? Clinical trials are research studies in which people volunteer to test new treatments mm -hmm. or interventions mm -hmm. um, to help treat or manage medical conditions. Okay. Tell me more about SWIFT, Lama. We know that people who are managed on hemodialysis for kidney failure suffer from a lot of symptoms. Yeah. So things like tiredness, itching, depression, trouble sleeping and reduced quality of life. Yeah. So SWIFT is doing some testing to see if regularly asking patients about their symptoms mm -hmm. and providing this symptom scores to nurses and kidney doctors helps to improve quality of life and symptom management. Okay. Levan, tell me how does collecting patient symptom scores helps to improve their quality of life? So regular care in hemodialysis has previously focused on blood test results. Yeah. So for example, how much potassium or phosphate is in a patient's blood. Mm -hmm. The focus now is on how patients feel and what they experience day to day. So this is what we're trying to improve on. So collecting this type of symptom information is called patient reported outcome measures or PROMS. Okay. As a former patient who has been on hemodialysis and now has a transplant, I can really connect to this level because when my doctor says like I have high potassium levels or high creatinine levels, I was worried. But when I feel fatigued or when I have itchiness, I wasn't sure how these two are connected. I think it's really important SIFT is collecting PROMs rather than just looking at blood results. Levan, how are you going to measure if quality of life was improved or if symptoms were managed better? So Sham, we're going to do this by asking patients to fill out a couple of surveys on a tablet computer okay. when they come into the unit to have their hemodialysis. Okay. These surveys will help to record the symptoms and also the patient's quality of life. Yeah. This information will then be passed on to patients, nurses and kidney doctors so that they can be discussed at the patient's next appointment. We'll also ask the patients via the surveys if they think that their symptoms have been discussed with them by their kidney doctors. Okay. Lavern, have you already trialled SWIFT in renal units across Australia and New Zealand? So yes, Sean, we actually ran a pilot trial from mm -hmm. September 2019 through to March 2020 and we involved four renal units, three in South Australia and one in Queensland, and a total of 226 patients were involved. What are the results from the pilot study? So we found that patients and nurses found the tablet computers easy to use. Yeah. We also found that patients, nurses and kidney doctors thought that collecting this PROMS information was really important to help improve patients' quality of life, and we're really happy to do it. Okay. Well, now the SWIFT pilot study is complete, what is next? The main SWIFT trial has already begun in New South Wales. Yeah. There is great interest in units in Queensland yeah. and other states will follow soon after. Okay. In the main study, how many hemodialysis units will be involved? We are hoping to have 160 hemodialysis units in the trial and about 3,000 patients Wow. Thanks, Levan, for explaining SWIFT to our consumers. This is a really important project which will hopefully improve quality of life for hemodialysis patients. So everyone, please get involved in SWIFT. Thank you. Thanks, Sean.